Hi everyone, welcome to World Wednesdays. It's Olivia here from the Conservation Volunteers and today we're going to be learning all about many-legged mini-beasts. So let's start off with centipedes and millipedes. They can look very similar, like if a worm had a flat body with lots of little legs, but they're very different in many ways. Centipedes can eat slugs and flies and worms and even spiders. The ones we find in the UK have 15 to 101 pairs of legs, but millipedes eat old soil and leaf litter, just like our snails and have 40 to 400 pairs of legs. The key difference between the two is that centipedes can have one pair of leg per body segment, but millipedes have two pairs of legs per body segment. Moving on to wood lice, they're those small grey creepy crawlies that look like a little pebble and roll into a ball when they're scared. These guys have seven pairs of legs and although they're usually grey, they can even be brown or even pink. Wood lice eat rotting plants, soil, and even their own poop. So much like slugs and snails, they recycle our soil and make it all nice and healthy. But did you know that they're not actually insects? They're much more closely related to crabs or shrimps. Then we have the spiders that have eight legs. Some people might think these mini beasts are scary. But it's important to remember that even though spiders have eight eyes, they actually can't see very well, so they don't even know what we are. So instead of using their eyes, they sense much better from the vibrations in their web. So when a fly lands in their web, they know exactly where to go and eat. This is actually a really good and harmless way to try and find a spider, by gently wiggling a blade of grass in their web and wait for them to come out. Unfortunately, we can't show you these mini beasts today because they've all fallen asleep since it started snowing again. So instead, Anna has let us meet another one of her beloved pets. So let's go and see. So Anna, who have you brought today? So today I have brought another one of my friends. He's called Henry and he's a Madagascar hissing cockroach. May I hold him? Of course. Let's just spread him along a little bit and let him go on your hands. There he is. <laughs> wow. So, what do you like about bugs, Anna? I just think that they're very interesting. There's so many of them. They all play different roles in the environment and they are very important to the environment. How are they important to the environment? So, like Olivia said before, they recycle nutrients in the ground and they also play a very important role in the food chain all around the world. They help pollinate flowers, like flies, bees and butterflies, and they pollinate lots of plants, like fruits, vegetables and flowers that we see blooming in the spring. Oh, Well, what would you say to someone who's scared of bugs? Well, I would like to tell you that once I was really scared of bugs myself and what really helped me is just learning about them. So whenever I would find a bug in the garden, I would try and find out what it is. I would observe it, I would see what it does, how it does it and it just slowly became really fascinating and now I just love all bugs so much. <laughs> I can tell. <laughs> Thank you so much, Anna, and hopefully we'll see you on another episode of Wild Wednesdays. Thank you so much for having me. It's always a pleasure. <laughs> All these mini beasts are a really important recycler of nutrients in your garden, so keep an eye out for them and remember to be gentle with them. As with any living creature, you should remember that bugs and insects are delicate and handle them with care and respect. That's why it's important to remember that our garden mini beasts are fragile creatures that just want to eat and sleep and not be disturbed too much. It's all right to hold them and look at them and find out about them, but always remember to put them back where you found them. We've made another worksheet for you today on many legged mini beasts. So please try it out and let us know how you found it. And we'll see you next week. Thank you. Bye.